spite of it being a little bit brighter, what are the differences that you can tell being around this new staff the last three days compared to last year? I mean, <laughs> it's just different people. You know, it's uh, different people. Uh, we're trying to get our foundation, uh, the kind of philosophy of our our team. Uh, and I think it's really we're just starting as a blank slate. I think it's kind of the main message. We're going to develop kind of the schemes and uh, uh, our pillars of what we want to go off of as a unit, I think, with player input, which is pretty cool. Um, and so, yeah, that's kind of been the, the, the talk the past few days. What's been your impression of Mike McDonald so far? I think he's a, I think he's a good one. I think he uh, is incredibly smart. That comes across. I think when you talk to him, he knows the game. He knows ball. Um, and I think he's just an innovator. I think he – is is conscious of of growth you know in his scheme it's developing each year it's not going to be the same thing that they ran last year uh, in baltimore but he's always trying to maximize the players and so uh, the takeaway i think off rip across the room across uh, the locker room is, is is all great so far what kind of sense have you gotten about the type of program he wants to run what he wants the team to be all about yeah i think i'm still figuring that out myself um but i think he one is letting players still be themselves obviously have swag have energy whoever you are be who you are but also we have to fall in those lines of our standard and the standard is either you're helping the team with who you are or you're not and I think that's kind of the the gist of him so far after, after he got hired did you reach out to anybody you happen to know with Baltimore and maybe get a sense of of what he was like there yeah I just so happened to be with Kyle Hamilton um the day he got hired and so we, we chopped it up a little bit. Um, and, yeah, he said nothing but great things. He said kind of everything I'm saying is that, you know, he's smart. He's just really knows how to call a game. Obviously, he was a coordinator. So he really knows how to call a game, really knows how to scheme. Uh, and, yeah, I'm going to enjoy him. Kyle was someone he seemed to draw a lot out of, maybe more than yeah. what people expected. Did he, did he, you know, mention anything about that, like his ability to sort of find qualities to, to enhance players? Yeah, I think – he, they, I mean, so far the entire staff has done a great job of really diving into the tape of who they have in the room. Um, so, I mean, a, a lot of tape has been poured over with these guys. I think they've been itching to get us all back in here uh, because of how excited they are about what we have. And yeah, with Kyle, I think he's a 6'3 safety who's a freak. And so he, you can maximize uh, him. Uh, but for what they're going to do with us, I think it is really cool that they're getting our flow, getting our feedback, uh, getting my feedback on – kind of what we want to do this year, what our standard will be. What was your reaction when they kept Jamal and, and Quandre? And how do you, I guess, what does that kind of throw on you now as kind of the guy that You know, I take a step back and just really throws on me to be myself. That's, uh, that's why I'm here, uh, just to be myself. I don't have to be Quandre. I don't have to be Jamal because I'm not. Um, and I don't know. I mean, it's a little, it, it's, I, I'll, I'll say it's sad for me because I like those guys. Those are my, so they're friends. Uh, and I enjoyed having them here last year. Um, they both brought something out of me, out of my game, out of just my personality um, in a time when I was new to the building. They were the first people who kind of brought me in. And so I appreciate those guys, all they did. Now I just had to be myself and just kind of provide my leadership for the, the guys in this room. You use the word innovator uh, when talking yeah. about McDonald. We've heard that word before. What about him seems innovative? I think – you know, it's just a growth mindset. I think, simply put, it's he has a growth mindset. He wants to always improve what he's doing. Um, he wants to improve our team. So year to year, in, year out, it won't be the same. Um, you can tell he's always looking to get that cutting edge um, out of the game because the game's changing, players are changing, and scheme and style has to as well. And I think you kind of get that sense. Um, but he's very – intentional i would say is the main thing he's super intentional what he says what he means um and how he goes about things and so that's been great to see so far Julian, what have you got to know leslie frazier what have your impressions of him first? yeah i haven't gotten to know him super well but we had a few conversations uh and i mean that's a guy who's been around the league who uh i think appreciates my game um who's been around some good guys that i kind of want to emulate uh in certain aspects of my game and He's a guy who I think is good to have in the room. Um, he guys, he's a guy who knows ball. Um, we have some young coaches, and he's a guy who has that experience. And I think that balance is really cool with having him in. Along with that, with all that's new here, yeah. how comforting is for the DBs to have Carl Scott still around? It's nice. Uh, it's nice. <laughs> I'll say that. Um, there's some you know, familiarity. Uh, obviously, he knows our personalities and 
kind of knows how we go about things. Um, and he's a good one, uh, for sure. It's, it's tough. You know, a lot of these guys haven't gone through coaching changes before. Um, I, I don't know what you want to say about it. I have. Um, and so it's, I, they can lean on me. I can lean on them just for all that insecurity that might, they might feel. Um, but so far, everything's been good. What have you learned from, I mean, what is it that you now take away when you made the coaching change? You know, how do you come in as a listening, patience, compassion, any of those? I think a lot of, yeah, listening, patience, compassion, like you, compassion, like you said. But, I mean, expectation, I think you have to understand that it's a blank slate. Um, these people are making impressions off of you. The tape is the tape, whatever, your football, but they, you know, they're learning your personalities. And so you have to be okay with that. <laughs> And everybody comes in and, uh, you know, you have to understand who they are as well. I think that's the first thing I feel is important if you want to go to where we want to go is that sense of mutual understanding, player to player, coach to coach, player to coach. Um, and so I'm just stressing that to the young guys is taking everything, write it down, everything, because everything's important right now. You got to know where they're from, what their family situation's like, so we can really mesh as quick as possible, hit the ground running, come training camp. Sounds leadership role you've taken. What kind of leader have you been and then you go into the and you continue to be? Yeah, I think I'm uh I don't know the right word. Uh I think I'm a intentional no, you're good. I'm an intentional leader, I guess. Uh weird as it sounds, I feel like I'm an int intimate leader. I'm not a guy who's gonna you know hoot and holler in front of uh the group. That's not me. Uh I'm pretty collected. Um and I just wanna say what it is and what it isn't for our guys. Um, I think that sense of accountability obviously has to be there. But then the flip side of it is I want to create a culture where we're gassing each other up and just as happy celebrating the next person's success as your own. I think that's kind of my goal uh, and my leadership style. Um, and so I'm just trying to adopt that and just be present for our guys here. What's been your initial impressions of uh, Rayshon? And how do you think your guys' skills will complement each other? I think we're going to comp complement each other really well. I think personality, we complement each other well. Um, and like you said, on the field, uh, so far he's been great. I mean, he's a guy who's a vet. Um, you're going on year eight, I think. I mean, he's been playing good ball. Um, and I feel like kind of like me, you know, you can be productive as you can and you just kind of still fly under the radar. I feel like he was a guy who was just really doing his thing uh, with the Chargers and then with Jacksonville. And just, you know, it was kind of fly under the radar. But I have been watching his tape for years and I've appreciated his game. And so it's cool to be in the room with him. Um, and he's a guy I think we're going to really mesh and really kind of cultivate our style um, on this defense, especially in the secondary. You mentioned you've experienced coaching changes. I mean, even back to Notre Dame, you had different DCs in there and everything. Yeah. Does it ever get easier to continue to adapt and learn and have to meet new people and have to kind of reset as you go through your career? It, you know, I, I guess it does get a little easier. I think, no, I won't say that. I'll say it doesn't really get easier. I guess you get more numb to it, weirdly. Um, you know, this is my, you know, eighth coordinator, or whatever, in nine years, um, dating back to, to Notre Dame. Um, and so it's something that you got to be, but it's helped my game. Uh, I think that's the biggest thing is it's helped my game. I know different schemes. I know different verbiage. I've experienced kind of it all. And it's only benefited me. I think just me playing multiple positions, <laughs> having a ton of uh, coordinators and, and style was, was huge for my growth and my development. I'm excited because I think this is a good group we got. I think John hired the right people. I think we really have something that we can build off of with the, the guys that are in here right now. A few months in, how has fatherhood changed you? Changed me? Uh, you know, uh, the sleep is a little less. Um, but, I mean, I guess I smile more, I guess you could say. Um, I mean, it's the best. You guys who have kids know it's just that first kid, you're holding them, and you just, I mean, you can't love anything more. Um, and I've really appreciated my time with him. Um, he is a great baby. Um, I caught a good, we caught a good stretch of him sleeping well. Um, right now he has some teeth already at three months, uh, two teeth popped through. And so that's another challenge. But everything, I mean, is just a, a blessing. And my, my wife and I are just super happy um, to get this time with him. What does uh, maximizing you as a player look like? Mm, that's a, that's a great question. Uh, that's, I like that. Maximizing me as a player, I think just letting me be me, understanding who I am off the field. I think every time I had challenges in my career, people kind of didn't understand the uh, disparity between 
my game self, uh, my practice self, and who I am right now uh, off the field. And so I think understanding, you know, I'm pretty calm. I'm pretty, <laughs> pretty neutral uh, off the field. But on the field, I try to get after it. Um, and so that, I think, is unlocking my game, just understanding myself, understanding me as a person. Um, and then aside from that, just put me around the ball. I'm, uh, I like to be around the ball. Uh, whatever it is, I try to get after it and just try to help this roster win. What do you think of the year you had last year when you look back on it? You know, I think it's exciting because obviously I had some great things happen to me. Um, I got the Pro Bowl. Um, you know, I had some some good weeks there. And I'm excited because there's a lot I left out there, I feel like, um, whether it wasn't playing as much as I could have been um, or just some games that just weren't my games. Um, I'm excited because that means that bar can be raised even higher. And I'm just going to try to stay composed, stay myself, stay who I am, um, but understand that my goals are higher this year, um, personally. Anything else, guys? All right. Thanks, you guys. Appreciate it.